This episode was brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, and online store. For a free trial and 10% off, visit squarespace.com and enter the offer code PVS at checkout. A better web starts with your website. Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Photo Video Show, where we explore all things DSLR. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. On today's show, I'm going to give you a heads up on some really awesome software that you can use to edit your photography. So everyone has their preferences when it comes to photography. I get that. No problem. But sometimes this editing software can get a bit on the pricey side. As most of you know, Photoshop can be extremely expensive but with the new Creative Cloud software, you can subscribe to your favorite programs. While I don't happen to be a personal fan of the model, there are alternatives out there. And I'd like to share a couple of those with you today. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. First up on the list is Intensify, brought to us by Mac Fun, the developer that gave us Snap Hill and Effects Photo Studio. Um, this app comes in two versions, a $59.99 Intensify Pro version and a $24.99 version that's available on the Mac App Store. So I'm sorry, Windows users, you are not going to be able to use this app, unfortunately. The main difference between the two versions is that only one uh, Intensify Pro can be used as a plugin with other photo editing apps like Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, Lightroom, and Aperture. But with Pro, you also get a few other features like PSD support, additional editing options, and a navigation window and shortcuts. Intensify really does sit pretty delicately in the middle ground between a full feature professional photo editing program, much like Photoshop, and the lightweight options that have sprung up in the cloud and on mobile devices. Getting up and running with Intensify is really, really easy. I'm almost clueless uh, navigating around Photoshop for the most part, but the Intensify interface wasn't too intimidating. The rise of photo filtering in apps like Instagram has a lot of people out there turning into would-be photographers. And Intensify does a spectacular job at taking things to the next level by introducing targeted professional level presets that you can customize to your liking. I actually balked at the price when I first saw it, but now that I've tried the app out on several of my photographs, I am a true 100% believer. MacFun has an extensive before and after section on its Intensify Pro product page if you want to see examples of what the app can do. The app's core strength lies in the dozens of bundle presets that MacFun says have actually been created by professional photographers. But advanced users can go in and make their very own presets and you can even share them with others. Hey you! You're a photographer, right? No? Well, maybe you want to be. I don't know. But at any rate, if you're going to be, you're going to need a website to showcase your work. I know that I do. And that's where Squarespace comes in. It's simple and easy. It's got a beautiful design. You can drag and drop your content anywhere on the page and it still looks great. Plans start at only $8 a month and include a free domain if you sign up for a year. It's got a great responsive design and you can even sell your work on your very own website because every single site comes with an online store. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website right now. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code PVS to get 10% off your first purchase and to show your support for the photo video show. We want to thank Squarespace for their support and Squarespace, a better web starts with your website. Now the last app on my list is Camera Bag 2. Now I've been using this program for about the last year and a half. And I've got to be honest guys, it's probably one of my most favorite photo editing applications. Mainly because I have so much control over how my photograph looks. Uh, I think we lost a lot. When we moved over to digital, we just don't have as much control over the look and the tone and the feel, the hues, the saturations, the graininess. Uh, like we used to have when we did have film, this application, Camera Bag 2, really does help us take our photography from a very clean, very uh, predictable 
uh, form of photography and shoves us backward so that we can relive the days of film. Now, Camera Bag 2 offers a really unique way to edit your photographs by introducing already very well-known effects. Now, the main difference between this application and hundreds of others that also use preloaded effects is the way that Camera Bag 2 uh, piles up your layers and effects and then offers extremely fine tuning for each of those layers. This basically gives us an unlimited number of effects and you can really just use your imagination and your creativity to see that you could spend all day with this program. Now once you open up a photo on Camera Bag 2 you'll notice a beautiful and streamlined interface. The whole window is focused on a photo that you're editing. It's very, very streamlined. It's very, very beautiful. So it's a real pleasure to use this application on large iMac type displays. There's only a small vertical bar uh, which features photo effects which are organized into several categories. You can find that on the right hand side of the window. Now when you finally do decide to add an effect, you can simply hover over it and a small window will appear which will show you a preview of your photo and you simply click on that effect and it will automatically be applied. So every effect comes with some tweaking options. You can fine tune the amount of color or the strength of the shadows or the graininess and a lot more. Now you can apply another effect on top of an existing one which creates a completely different setting. And then you can fine tune the, layered, uh, the latest layer or effect and then you can also go back to any previous layer and change its settings as well. You can also pile them up on top of each other, get something that you really, really like, and then you can save all those effects as your very own preset and then share them with the rest of the community. So in my opinion, for the price, Camera Bag 2 is an absolute steal. If it's not in your repertoire yet, if it's not in your workflow yet, go ahead and give it a shot and you get a free 30-day trial so that you can kind of test it out and see what you think. But in my opinion, I think it's a no-brainer. So there you have it, there you go folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and if you have any suggestions about other types of software that would help your fellow photographers improve their editing techniques, go ahead and drop those suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you. I'm your host Mark Puckett and thanks for stopping by here at the Photo Video Show. We'll see you guys again next time.